Hey guys, welcome to my channel or welcome back. My name is Lara for those of you that do not know and today we are going to be talking about my most anticipated romance releases of 2021. I'm so excited because I've found some fabulous looking books that are coming out this year and I'm even more excited to hear more from you guys in the comments down below. I really want this video to be like an open discussion. I want to hear all about the books that you're excited to read this year or that are coming out this year so definitely leave me a comment but I'm going to share with you guys 10 books that I have found that I'm really interested in coming out this year. I have all of the books down on my phone, so I'm just going to go through the list, give a little briefing on why I'm interested in the book or what it's about, that kind of thing. But like I said, I really want to hear the books that you guys are excited about coming out this year. So tell me down below. I'm sure there's authors that I love and books that I would love that I've skipped over and just didn't even see in my researching ventures for this video. So definitely let me know. But other than that, I'm just going to get started and share with you guys my anticipated releases. The first book on my list is called The Architect by Nikki Sloan. This is the third installment in her Nashville Neighbors series. And I've read the first two, which I believe are The Doctor and The Pool Boy. I've talked about them on my channel before. Um, but this is just a series of kind of like standalones, but they almost go together in a way. Um, about different relationships. This one obviously deals with an architect and his relationship. I believe he was in previous books, like in the Pool Boy book, I believe. So I've kind of seen the character a little bit. I know the pacing of this series. It's super fun and lighthearted, but I'm kind of obsessed with Nikki Sloan's writing and I just love the way that she does romance. So this book has definitely been on my radar since I finished the Pool Boy. I wanted to see if there would be more in the series. And this is the one coming out. I believe it's coming out next month. So pretty soon, but if you haven't read the other two books, I definitely recommend them. They're really fast paced and just a fun romance read, nothing too serious. From the description, I'm really not sure too much about this book and what it's going to entail, but I know that Nikki Sloan usually pulls together some really fun plot lines, so for that I'm very excited. So this is definitely top on my list for exciting books of 2021. Next book on my list is called A Gorgeous Villain by Saffron Kent, and this is the second book in the St. Mary's Rebels series. I read the first one last year, which was My Darling Arrow. There's also two more allegedly coming out this year. I don't know if it's just marked that way on Goodreads or if they're actually all coming out. And those are These Thorn Kisses and Hey Mr. Marshall. But A Gorgeous Villain kind of starts off at the end of the last book. You hear about the character and you know it's about a girl who falls pregnant to this boy who she had a relationship with and he left her, but now he's back and she's pregnant and it's just going to be drama, I can already tell. Something really funny about this book, however, the guy's name is Reed Jackson. And I don't know if any of you guys have read my Wattpad story, linked down below if you haven't, but my male character's name is Jackson Reed, so it's literally the opposite of this guy's name. So I feel like this book is just like coming for me, like I need to read it. Um, also regarding my book, I'm working on it. I'm going to have a new chapter up soon. So don't don't even come for me in the comments, but I'm really excited to read this I love Saffron Kent's books I've always been a fan of hers and whenever she has something new out I always flock to it and I'm always super interested to see what it is So having a new series to kind of get to see unfold throughout the year by her is gonna be something really exciting for me And I definitely recommend reading my darling arrow if you haven't yet the first book in this series It's so so good this next book I'm not sure if this is just wishful thinking that it is coming out this year I think I did see the author post that it's coming out this year, but there isn't like a date. There isn't even a cover or description, but the book is Nice Guys Don't Win by Michaela Schmelzer, which is the second book in the kind of Bad Boys Break Hearts universe, which was a book I read last year and I was absolutely obsessed with it. Like literally one of my favorite books that I read last year. And there's a character in this book, Cole, and this is his spinoff book. And I've just been so highly anticipating it ever since I finished Bad Boys Break Hearts. And I think Michaela did say it's coming out this year. Again, there's no date, there's no description. All I know is that is the book about Cole. So I'm very excited for this whenever it comes out just because I was such a big fan of the first book. So I'm just kind of trying to manifest that it actually comes out this year by putting it into this video. And if you haven't read Bad Boys Break Hearts, I highly recommend it. The next book isn't really a romance, but it's something that I'm highly anticipating for 2021, so I just wanted to throw it in the video. And it is called Take Me Home Tonight by Morgan Matson. And I love Morgan Matson. She writes really amazing YA contemporary novels, and I've met her a bunch of times. I think she's the sweetest person, and I always look forward to her new releases. This is her new release for the year. She usually comes out with books like 
every two or three years so it's a little bit rare to see a book from her so I am excited for this one. I believe it follows two best friends who are seniors in high school and they go to New York City to explore for one night and I guess they find themselves in a bunch of trouble and do a bunch of crazy stuff so I don't know I just really love her books. I think they're so fun and I always look forward to reading them so definitely that's on my list for the year as well. The next book on my list is another one that doesn't really have a cover or a synopsis yet but I just know that whenever it comes out I'm going to be super excited and it is called Falls Boys and it's by Penelope Douglas. It's going to be the first in her Hellbent series which is a spin-off of her Fallaway series which I really love. It's like the book Bully is the first one in that series. Really really love that series so I'm excited to see anything new from her. You guys know I just really love Penelope Douglas's books in general. They're always just so well done and always have crazy plots that you just can't predict which is what I love about them. So really excited for this series. I don't know when it's coming out. I don't even know who it's following or anything but I'm definitely going to be keeping my eye out for it and I'm excited. Something else that I'm really highly anticipating is the final two books in the Blame It on the Alcohol series by Fiona Cole. I believe that Fiona announced that she's going to have like a trilogy style thing with three books and it's the Blame It on the Alcohol trilogy. The first one is called Blame It on the Champagne and it came out last year. I do still need to read it but I know because it's Fiona Cole that I'm going to love it so I'm going to read that one but the other two are supposed to be coming out this year and I've just been highly anticipating any anything that she's put out ever since I read her Voyeur series. So really excited to get into the first book and then eventually have the other two probably come out this year, maybe one this year, another next year, but we'll see. Um, but I'm super excited to read them nonetheless. I've heard great things about the first one. It came out a few weeks ago, so I'm definitely going to get my hands on that soon and read it. Um, also, just really randomly, I'm deciding to do monthly wrap-ups moving forward. So every single month you can expect a video from me talking about what I've been reading. So I know a lot of you guys always ask me, like, what did you read this month or what are you currently reading? So I feel like that'll kind of keep me in check a little more with you guys on a more regular basis. So look out for that next week. But anyways, yes, the Blame It on the Alcohol series. Very excited for the next books. The next book on my list is called The Devil Wears Black by LJ Shen. LJ Shen is an author that I constantly get told to read, like constantly. I know she has like a really popular series, The Sinners of Saints series, and I haven't read it. I've tried to read Vicious, the first book in that series, so many times like I've opened it and read the first chapter probably six different times like I don't know what's wrong with me but I just can't keep reading it for some reason I just get stuck um but this synopsis for this new book sounds really enticing to me and I want to try and read something by her um and I believe that this is like a marriage of convenience slash fake dating trope book which I always get asked for recommendations for so I'd love to read more books like that and I also think it's kind of enemies to lovers so it sounds up my alley I'm excited to see what it's all about but yeah I don't know guys what should I do with the whole LJ Shen thing like is there a different book other than Vicious that you would recommend to me can I skip Vicious and read the rest of the series like I just can't get past it I don't know what's wrong with me I usually can read things so fast so easily like whatever um, but for some reason this one book I just can't I can't get into it I don't know what's wrong with me so let me know about all that in the comments down below please the next book on my list is called first comes like by Alicia Ray this is actually the third book in her modern love series I haven't read the other two but I think they're kind of like standalones like you can read each one individually and it doesn't matter because I read the description for this book and it sounds so funny and just like something I would love basically it follows a girl who's sort of like a beauty influencer on YouTube and she gets a DM one day from this man who's a apparently like a really famous Bollywood actor and she immediately falls for him and they start talking but when this girl starts talking about it and publicizing it on her channel the guy the Bollywood actor genuinely has no idea who she is and so this person's been impersonating him basically and he doesn't even know her and she hasn't been really talking to him it's been somebody else so there's a whole like issue where that happens and I'm assuming they actually end up meeting um but it just sounded so fun like I love like random things like that that really drive the plot and create something interesting I don't know it just caught my eye on Goodreads and I think it sounds fun I'll have to look up the two books prior in the series to see if those sound interesting too but really excited for this one to come out. The next book on my list is called One Last Stop by Casey McQuiston. I hope I'm saying that right. This is the author of Red, White, and Royal Blue, I think is what it's called. That's another book that I really want to read. But this one, it's about a girl who lives in New York. She's like 
23 years old and she goes on the subway every day and there's this girl that she notices on the subway who she's just so highly infatuated with and she's just so like enticed by her basically wants to get to know her but I believe there's like a kind of sci-fi element to this story in which this girl is actually displaced from the 70s or something. I truly don't know. Like I read the description and I was already confused because we all know that I really struggle outside of anything but contemporary. But this is the year that I'm challenging myself to read outside of my comfort zone and I figure anything that has like a basis of romance thrown in I can get through and I can read. So I'm excited for this book to come out. It sounds really fascinating to me. I love the idea of it. I really don't know what to expect but I think it sounds good. I also do want to read her other book that I just talked about. I'm gonna read that soon. So very exciting stuff. This one just sounds really interesting though. The last book that I have for you guys today is called The Soulmate Equation by Christina Lauren. I love Christina Lauren. They have so many fantastic romance books. So when I saw this one, I immediately got excited. They have a new one coming out. This follows a girl who is a single mom and there's this new dating website that basically uses like genetic DNA to find your perfect match. And the girl gets her result and it is the guy who actually founded the company and she actually knows him. And so she gets asked to go on dates with him and she'll get paid to kind of get to know him just to do more studies for this website because the DNA match was so high or something. I don't know. It sounded fun to me. I love like dating because of like a certain circumstance or like getting to know each other reluctantly. Like it just sounds like fun to me. So I'm very excited to see how this book actually unfolds. I also love like the single parent trope. So we get to see that with the lead girl. So I don't know. It sounded like something fun to me. I know that Christina Lauren's books are usually highly enjoyable and just fun quick reads so that's what I would be expecting from this one as well so really excited to get that one this year as well so guys those are some of my most highly anticipated releases of 2021 I'm super excited to hear what yours are I need more recommendations give me a little something about what the book is or who the author is to entice me because I want to add more stuff to my TBR this year that you guys want me to read so very excited for that but thank you guys so much for watching this video I hope you enjoyed it I'm gonna have a lot more content out more regularly so keep your eyes peeled also I started an ASMR channel if you did not know I will have it linked down below I posted my first video the other day and I'm so happy that some of you guys are watching and enjoying it so thank you very much and if you haven't checked it out yet check it out down below um, but other than that thank you guys so much for watching I will talk to you all very soon and I hope you have a great day bye